Well, greetings everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So in this episode, I'm losing my mind, essentially. After a few weeks of the Triumph, I think, it's time that this magnificent machine, this GSXR 1000R, needs to find a new home. I can't believe I'm saying it. I really don't, really, really, really don't want to sell it. Um, I don't want to get rid, but I've got a daughter that's coming up going to university. And all the costs associated with that. And I just can't justify keeping this as well as a trumpet. Um, yeah, I'm gutted to be honest. I absolutely love this bike. I really, really do. But I guess if I'm honest with myself, am I getting the most out of it performance wise? Probably not. And that's not the point, and it never was. It's a bike I always wanted back in 2017 when I wasn't doing track days. Um, but you know, it's not perfect. It could do with it could do with a better front brake master cylinder. Um, the fueling sometimes slower down is a little bit can be a bit hesitant, but I mean that's that's splitting hairs to be honest, really. And it's only ever only ever an issue on track when you're really giving it really giving it the beans and it's in the lower lower part of the mid range. But yeah, unfortunately. Needs must, I'm afraid. Uh, the Street RS, um, as anyone that's been watching this channel for a while will know, the GSX-S750 was, of course, um, a massive, massive part of the channel, and still is, and still is, and I've, I've, uh, I've real, uh, real soft spot for that, and still, and still do. But you know, going from that to this was just immense, and I'm really glad that I've been able to tick the box for one of these, and we'll see, we'll see how it goes with university fees and all that kind of good stuff, but. Essentially, with a Triumph, it's uh, it's like the GSX-S750 was, but on steroids. It's it's already got the Bremer Master Cylinder. It's already a track weapon. Um, so I've got plans, got plans for that, and make it more, make it a bit more track oriented than the road oriented. But it's certainly a bike you can get the most out of on the on the track anyway. And you know, and even all the reviews, all the reviews by the big names, you know, Michael Neves from MCN, have all said the same thing that they're struggling to struck the final limits with it so if they're if they're struck the final limits with that on track then I'm pretty sure I will be as well. Okay it's not as fast as this down the straights but for me the 750 at Silverstone I mean that uh, that, that rags right up there with, with one of the best one of the best track experiences I think I've had. Yes it's down on power down the straights and yes you're getting blitzed by the litre bikes but around the bends it's absolutely awesome. Um, and with the, with the, with the street Having having a fair bit more power than the, than the 750 did, it's going to be it's going to be an absolute riot on track. Uh, obviously, it's not quite running yet, so. But essentially, I think that's where we're at. So yeah, one final one final blight into town. Go and pick up a couple of bits. But that's kind of where we're at. Oh, I really don't want to get rid of this. But I'm afraid needs must. And no one needs four bikes, do they? Really? Well, okay. It's always N plus one, as we know. But sometimes, sometimes you have to cut your cloth to, to, to suit. And uh, the street is no slouch by any means. But unfortunately, yeah, it just means that this will uh, this will need to go and make way for other financial commitments. to have loved and lost and never to have loved at all so they say I'm not sure if I should agree with that statement because I love this thing I really do but unfortunately it it's just makes financial sense and hey maybe it's for the best but I'm glad to say that I've had one I've wanted one for quite a few years and just it just never happened but I love I just love the bike but you never know. Maybe we'll get another one in the future. Who knows what the future holds. So anyway, a pretty short video. I'd like to stay off the town and get a few bits and pieces, but it's it's a shame. It really is. 
first and it was just immense but realistically you're just a pilot and they're just hanging on <laughs> it is mental it's absolutely mental and it sounds fantastic yeah why why am i making this decision again i do wonder needs must i'm afraid and that's all there is to it So on this bombshell, I will wave goodbye to this absolute immense, immense piece of kit. And I just love the colour of it. I love the look of it. But unfortunately needs must. So there we go. But very fortunate to have had to be able to have had it and uh, and pick up the street as well for, for a short period of time. So you know, you've got to justify it somewhere along the line, I guess, at some stage. So there we are. Anyway, we'll leave you with a little montage of this beautiful, beautiful piece of kit. And uh, I am actually truly good. I really am. Bye. It's very rare for me to get uh, so attached to a lump of metal. But what a note. Oh, I'm going to miss that. I really am. Right, before I start crying, it's time to go. And I'll leave you with a little montage. Go, bro, stop recording. Back on the GS, back on the GS. Back on the GSXR. You don't know how lucky you are.